So there you are, sitting at your desk, sketch pencil in hand, drawing what could be one of the greatest masterpieces of your life. Your pencil feels like it's somehow connected to the heavens, divining artistic mastery that is transporting you to another dimension, filled with confidence and drawing prowess. You are an unstoppable force of nature. You are blowing your own mind with your creativity. You are just feeling so damn good. And just as you are about to make love to your sketchbook, you suddenly realize, I have to do this all over again and put it on canvas. All of a sudden, what felt like inspiration turns into apprehension. Your once clear mind begins to crumble into a cloudy, anxious mess. You question if you even have the creative juice to do your sketch all over again, from scratch. You start to panic. I just spent an hour on the sketch. I don't have the energy or the time to do the same thing all over again on canvas. What have I gotten myself into? I can't do this all over again. Oh lordy, whatever shall I do? Hey, what's up my queen bees? It's your girl Amanda the Buzzed Artist, and the answer to that question is pretty simple and it all involves easy transferring techniques that won't take much of your effort or extra time. Wait really? And I will share with you three methods that I and other artists use to easily transfer their drawings and sketches onto a canvas or any other final working surface, all of which do not require a huge drain of your energy or your time. So calm down, take a chill pill, and let's dive right on in. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, so technique number one is the one that I like to use the most, which is simply using tracing paper and a carbon pencil of some sort, and also just a regular pencil. So if you want to transfer your drawing in the same exact orientation, all you need to do is just take your tracing paper, put it on top of your drawing that you want to transfer, and then just with your pencil, you're going to make an outline and you're just gonna make sure you're capturing all the major guidelines that you want so that you're giving yourself the least amount of work later on as possible. This is also a really good opportunity for you to smooth out any lines and create just a bit better line work for yourself. At least I like taking that opportunity. Once you have a sketch, all you need to do is turn that sketch around and then you just go in with your carbon pencil this time. You just simply follow the lines that you did with your pencil. Following as close to the pencil line as I can. You have just completed your carbon pencil etchings on your tracing paper. And now this is ready to transfer onto your desired surface. So just for the sake of example, I'm just gonna turn to another page on my multimedia paper just to show you how this transfer process works. So this is the side that you did your carbon pencil on. All you gotta do is turn it around, place it where you like on your final surface. Simply taking a pencil, you can just go over those lines that you did with your carbon pencil. You don't have to be very precise at this point because you already specified exact lines that you wanted to transfer on the other side of this tracing paper with your carbon pencil. So now that you've kind of done your thing with your pencil, next is the big reveal and see how this all transferred. And ta-da, there you have it. You have successfully transferred your drawing onto another surface using technique number one. Technique number two, this technique will once again be using tracing paper as well as some form of carbon pencil, like a carbon stick or just a regular old charcoal uh, pencil or a graphite pencil. This is like a full graphite pencil. So now this technique is a little bit more like actual graphite transfer paper that you would normally buy at a store. And the reason why I wanted to show you this technique is because it's a DIY and doesn't involve you having to go buy extra supplies if you can make some at home, which I'm kind of a big fan of. So all you need to do is just grab one sheet of tracing paper. What we're going to do is we're just going to set this sketch aside. We're going to take either your carbon stick or your graphite pencil, one of those two, and you're just going to draw completely onto one side of your tracing paper. I'm doing circular motions. And this is just to help me transfer this evenly as possible. Of course, I have some stuff still sticking onto my desk from previous projects, so you wanna make sure that your surface is as even as possible. I think this is pretty good coverage for the most part. Now that you have a sufficient surface that's covered, what I've also seen as a trick is you take a little bit of like Kleenex or toilet paper, rumple it up, and then 
you just simply press down and wipe the carbon. So that kind of smooths it out and also prevents you from having like big old blotches. So here you have it, you have your very own pretty much DIY graphite transfer paper. And you're also going to have some souvenirs left over from this, so be sure to go ahead and wash your hands if you don't want any of this to transfer onto your actual drawing. So, be right back. Okay, my hands are nice and clean. So, what I'm going to do, take my final drawing and remove it from the sketch pad. And of course, as for my final surface that I want to transfer, I'm just going to go to another page on my sketchbook here just to prove an example, but you can do this with canvas, with whatever. You're going to take your tracing paper that you put carbon on and you're going to flip it so that the carbon side facing down on your final surface. This is the part that's the most important. You're going to take your drawing, place it right on top and you can place it however way you wish, either using some sort of pencil or a pen, draw very carefully over the lines that you want. Make sure you're not putting as many dents or pressure on areas that you don't want to have transferred. So I'm trying to keep as minimal amount of fingers on my paper here as I'm doing the transfer. I just want what the pencil tip is doing to transfer. So if it helps at all, you can get uh, some sort of like Paul stick to help keep your, your hands steady. You can even get some sort of um, masking tape to tape the sides down so that this thing doesn't wobble. Okay, so once you're done, simply remove your drawing, your original, and then you're just gonna slowly unravel this to see what your final product looks like. And uh, boom! So now you have this opportunity to go back in with your paints or inks or what have you and do your thing. And what's really cool is you can just simply erase the carbon right off. So that's really great if you're working with inks or paints afterwards. This is really, really easy to take off. You can just go in with a eraser of some sort and just do a nice little cleanup here and there. Super easy. All right, so for this technique, this one involves the least amount of extra materials. It just involves your original sketch and having a blank side on the other side of the sketch. And what you'll need for this is either a carbon pencil or stick, kind of like this, or a graphite pencil. I like to stick with carbon pencil. I find it transfers a lot easier, and plus it's easier to apply. So I'm gonna do a nice etching of the carbon pencil on the back of my actual drawing, so that in the end, it kind of makes it a built-in transfer paper that, that I can then put onto any surface and then uh, do a trace over. So all you gotta do is just take your sketch, the one that you like, and you flip it over to the blank side, okay? This is very important that it has a blank side to it. And then with your pencil or carbon stick, you're just gonna apply a nice even coat. Now I'm kind of using circular motions just to make sure I get as decent coverage as I can. So once you kind of have a decent amount covered, you're gonna have a lot of excess, so you can simply just take some tissue paper and just do a nice quick rub on the back here. And again, this kind of just helps to create an even transfer surface. And once you have that done, just wanna make sure your hands are pretty clean. Once you have that, you're gonna go ahead and choose your final surface you wanna to transfer to. Again, I'm just gonna use my multimedia paper. Make sure that again, your carbon side or your graphite side is facing the surface of final surface that you want to use. So once that is there, you can either just secure this on the top here, which I'm gonna do, just to make sure there's minimal movement. And so what you do now is you take a pencil or a pen of some sort, and then you're just gonna go over the lines that you would like to transfer. Pretty simple. I'm just being careful not to put as much weight on my fingers here as I'm, you know, making these indents because whatever pressure you put on your drawing here, it's gonna get transferred onto the other side. So you just wanna take this nice and easy. If you have a an artist pole, which is basically like a long stick that helps with your stability, you can go ahead and use that. If not, just take this nice and slow. And I'm putting like a decent amount of pressure on this, about medium pressure. So once you pretty much feel you've gotten everything covered the way you like it, you're gonna simply just remove your drawing and see underneath. Look at that. That looks awesome. Okay, so here we have it. And you can see here that it has transferred very nicely. If you have any spots here that you know you did not want, you just take a nice eraser and just erase it. 
and the lines come off very, very easily. So, you know, don't, don't stress out if you mess up a little bit. You can always go in with an eraser and erase. Once again, this is really great for inking and for painting because you can just go in and erase all the lines that you've made prior and all the charcoal will pretty much disappear. So that makes it very, very easy for you to handle and to manage this. And also, side note, you don't have to use a carbon pencil to do the backing of this. You can also go ahead and use white chalk. And especially if you're working with a dark canvas surface, that is also a perfect alternative. And that is how you can use a technique of using the back of your drawing to transfer onto a new surface. And those are my DIY techniques for transferring any sketch or drawing onto a final canvas, wood surface, piece of paper, what have you, in an easy, time-efficient manner. And if this video has taught you anything, there is more than one way to skin a cat. Wow. And most importantly, to not panic, to not freak out. There's always a way around a problem. And what's important is that you embrace the journey and learn to love yourself in the process. So what did you think of these techniques? Have you used one of these techniques or another type of technique to transfer your sketch onto a canvas? Comment below and let me know. I love hearing your suggestions, my darling, gorgeous, beautiful, wonderful queen bees. And remember to love yourselves and always have fun with your art. See you all next time. Bye.